Hey everybody, it's Princess. I'm here today to show you how to save your previous broadcast straight from Mixer for all my favorite Mixer streamers. So in case you don't know, well, after this video you will know. It's really simple. A lot of people ask me how to do it and I decided let's make a YouTube video out of it. So here, this is basically your browser for Mixer. Um, it auto-populates for me on my VOD because I have it set up that way, which I'll do another video to show you basically how that gets done. So this is, like I said, my previous video here. In order to have this activated, we're going to click on your picture. So obviously it's not going to look like this. You're just going to click that picture here and you go to manage channel. Um, down here, there's some options. So time to broadcast. You see this, this is my basic information here down here there's a little checker it says keep recordings of my streams all you got to do is make sure it's checked and that's it literally that's it so you'll be able to see your um live videos recorded right on mixer now if you want to like manage them you're just going to click that again your profile picture then click manage channel and it used to say vods here so just want to throw that out this is a new update within the last uh two weeks i want to say so i just wanted to get like a new fresh tutorial on that for you guys because most of you guys will be looking for vibes like hey where is it well it's here it's past streams so you click that link here and you have every single one now for all of you guys who are not a mixer partner this will not show 90 days as a mixer partner you get a 90 day um basically storage space for all your videos as a regular streamer you only get 14 days i believe so keep that in mind um if you want to like download them you just click this link here download and it'll just basically drop off i don't want to do it now because i don't want to save it but that's basically what you do for that if you want to do other things like rename it so i can just sit here and like say hey blah 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 <laughs> and save like you can actually rename it and you're gonna see here blah 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 right which i don't want to name it that but um just wanted to show you guys that um you can also delete it which i tend to do sometimes <laughs> um because some of them i'm like it's just too short um when i have some stream issues um and sometimes you just don't like your content so um another thing i will show you guys in this video is how to autoplay them like you saw here so normally this will be here on any one stream like a, a picture saying that you're offline but if you want them to automatically play you go here and um autoplay most recent stream when i'm offline you just make sure this ticker is blue ticker blue means that it's good it's on it's activated ticker without a blue color it means it's off so that is basically how you save and add your VODs onto your stream channel. So if I'm going to go to my channel again, reload the page, you're going to see my VOD, which is also known as a past stream now since they did the technical changing of it. So if I turn this off, which I'll show you guys now, and then I go back to my channel. Um, I clicked the wrong link. There we go. And oh nope, it didn't work. <laughs> Princess. All right, there you go. So now it shows no previously played video. So it's really depending on how you want your setup. Honestly, that's how I have mine set up. What you want to do with your channel is completely up to you. I just want to show you guys how to do it. Since I like my vod. I'm gonna put it there. Alright guys, it's been a pleasure. Glad you came here to check out my video. If you guys thought this was very helpful, please drop a comment, let me know. Also share, like, and I will catch you guys on the next tutorial or the next highlight video.